Well, you know that lady one day up and left me because I only had a dime. Now I'm wondering where, I'm wondering where, where my next quarter is coming from. Welcome to Marietta, Ohio, the first established settlement in the Northwest Territory right along the Ohio River and home to many historic views and monuments. But inside of all of those things, there's something deeper, something special, a sound, a sound that can get your foot tapping and your body moving to a certain rhythm in ways that you've only imagined. This sound was resurrected in 1987 when the Blues, Jazz, and Folk Music Society was formed. By presenting concerts, workshops, conferences, and artist residencies, the Society enhanced the appreciation of American Roots music in the Mid-Ohio Valley. The River City Ohio Blues Competition is a prime example. The Society also provides a forum in schools for education and development of local and lesser known musical talents. But the forum is only a branch of a much bigger tree. Picture a school-based arts program that has students all over the country excited. A program that builds self-esteem and helps students discover talents they never knew they had. In the process of exploring these new talents, the students will learn history, celebrate diversity, and improve their public speaking and writing skills. The bonus feature of this program is that it keeps kids doing constructive work and gets them singing, dancing, and playing music like they never have before. The program you've been picturing is the well-established Blues in the Schools program. The Blues in the Schools program was founded on the belief that the opportunity to work with professional artists would enhance the ability of the students to express themselves and learn new skills. The main goal of the program is to improve aesthetic perception, create expression, and establish a sense of musical heritage within the students. To help with this, the program brings in the professional artists to help teach the children all about the blues. One particular artist that has been very active with the Blues in the Schools program is Fruitland Jackson, who has been the recipient of both the Illinois Arts Council Folk Ethnic Heritage and W.C. Handy Awards. Fruitland specializes in performing acoustic blues from contemporary to traditional. This includes the blues of the early field holler and work songs to the Delta and Piedmont blues, as well as his own original works. Since 1992, he has conducted the Blues in the Schools program to over 50,000 students and adults annually, and the numbers keep growing. So I just kind of create what I hear in my head, and then I hear the drums and the cymbals. In March 2006, the Blues, Jazz, and Folk Music Society produced the Blues in the Schools program at Marietta Middle School. The program featured Fruitland Jackson along with the assistance of Steve Potmeyer on the harmonica. I think our students at Marietta Middle School are going to come out being more worldly. I think they're going to understand uh, a different culture, having immigrants going from the South up to the Chicago, New York, uh, even Pennsylvania area. I think they'll better understand their own heritage here in the foothills of Appalachia and how the music blends. But I think overall, they're going to have a great time and they're going to understand what another chapter of music. Blues music does not tolerate rage or anger. They don't have mosh pits at blues festivals. You can't listen to the blues and stay mad. It allows you to vent. 
Okay, and then for some in the early days, I'm gonna just say this, in the early days, blues was a form of freedom. Because a lot of the early musicians, there were certain places they couldn't go, certain things they couldn't do. But when they picked up that instrument, they were free. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved us. Everybody, especially Fruitland Jackson Hughes taught me so much and just being with everybody and learning about the history of blues. Well, there's something about blues music that is uh, incredibly soulful. You know, it comes from the heart. It's a, really the, the music of the folks and of uh, the southern part of the country that came up through our rivers, up through the Mississippi and up the Ohio. And, and, and so really it's, a, it's great to have the blues coming back to a river town. But I think that, you know, when anytime kids get an opportunity to have an interaction, to have, a, uh, to have this kind of a quality experience, that it potentially impacts their life or at least some of their musical life. And I hope that it is that, that kind of uh, roots music, that this, the stuff, the music of the heart that the blues represents, that some of these uh, young folks will, uh, will, will pick that up and they'll probably be the, you know, the blues players that we're seeing uh, on TV you know, 20 years from now. It's not just about playing music, it's also about like even if there's a day when you feel really bad because you couldn't get the song, that you keep going and so that helps you in other areas of your life. excited about things sometimes but not quite that much and for that long a period of time and he um, it, it gave him he felt good about himself because his older brother plays a lot of sports and he's not quite the athlete that his brother is so when he played the harmonic it gave him his own little niche of something that he did better than anybody else in the family and um, made him feel good about about what he was doing Yeah, at school I've been, still people have come up to me and said, uh, good job and stuff. What it does for these kids is uh, the whole thing about it because it does give them um, confidence and builds their self-esteem and, and actually puts them on a whole different thinking level after learning to play, a, play an instrument. And, uh, and of course it teaches them about our culture and, and the uh, African-American culture that, that brought blues or that developed blues here in this country. And so it's what it does for the students that, that really makes it successful just about any place that, that uh, we want to do it.
okay? And I think that they'll learn how to express themselves. They, it stops them from being bottled up. If it's a flood, if it's an accident, a fire, or, or it could be something good. Anytime that they're impressed by something in life, that they can express themselves through song, just the way they would with poetry and artwork. And I think that that'll, that'll stay with them. And, uh, and uh, whether or not they become musicians or just learn to appreciate music even more, you know, they'll have the options for either one of those. Uh, blues, the, the, uh, the, the side effects, not side effects, but the effects of Blues in Schools programs, it breaks down uh, social barriers, it brings about cross-cultural uh, understanding, it raises self-esteem, it, uh, it creates uh, uh, career opportunities, uh, it, it improves uh, school attendance, because sometimes just for the class, they, they come to school. It, uh, it, uh, it helps to measure uh, music capacity and it helps them with their aesthetic judgment, okay, and learning how to listen, okay. It's a, it's a lot of little things that sort of take place uh, when, in Blues and Schools programs. While the huge success of blues in the schools at Marietta Middle School has been a source of pride for the Blues, Jazz, and Folk Music Society, we're just getting started. The educational and social benefits of this program have been well documented, and support from the community has been remarkable. State and local school administrators and teachers have encouraged us to repeat the program in Washington County, Ohio, and to add a duplicate two-week artist residency in Wood County, West Virginia. To date, this will be the first and only Blues in the Schools program in the state of West Virginia. It's all a monumental undertaking for a small group like ours, but one we consider worthwhile and the right thing to do. Naturally, we're going to need a lot of help, and we think this life-changing experience is worth continuing to help give students a positive direction so tax-deductible cash donations of any amount are needed, as well as in-kind donations in lieu of cash. Your gift can help us bring blues in the schools to the students year after year. This unique sponsorship opportunity can gain your organization exposure in the community and state, and we would love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah.